Hi, it's Jamie from Haley & Weber. Today we're going to go through proper application of the Castaway Elbow Brace. When you receive your brace, you're going to have the product itself with an accessory sling inside as well as a hand piece. Today we're going to demonstrate with this elbow sleeve already in place, which is an accessory that you can also purchase from Haley & Weber. In order to apply, you're going to have to deconstruct the brace to some degree. I'm going to open all of the straps so that I can get it prepared to insert his arm. Next, I'm going to remove the sling piece so that it's out of the way for the rest of the application process. Next, I would need to adjust these Sarmiento cuffs so that they're in the right position both proximally, distally, and create the best circumferential fit. Uh, in the event that I needed a left-handed brace, I would undo the Sarmientos here, undo the strap, flip it over so that the D-ring was sitting on the other side of the brace because we don't want the buckles rubbing against the body. So you'll see here that it's set up for his right arm as we're going to apply it. Next, I'm going to just set his arm into the brace. I wanna make sure that his elbow is seated down into the angle of the brace. Next, I'm gonna tuck the Sarmiento cuffs in, making sure that I have good coverage. I'm gonna start by closing each strap. I wanna make sure that the cuffs are tight, but I'm not pinching his skin. If I wanted to include the wrist to prevent any pronation, supination, and to just give that wrist support and stabilization, I'd use the wrist component piece. I'm gonna remove the strap here. I'm gonna bend this into a cuff so that it'll capture his hand and be comfortable. Under here, you'll see this little Velcro tab, which opens up a slot for the stay to slip into. I'm gonna slide that in there. I can adjust that for length so that it's a perfect fit for him. My goal is to stay below the MP joints so that he has full finger flexion and extension. Once that's in place, I just add the hand strap. And that completes closure with the hand accessory in place. We've included these tensioning straps at the elbow, which are located both laterally and medially, which give extra control to the support of the brace. Sometimes gravity will create a bit of a lag. By having these straps, you can add extra tension and make sure that you have the support that you need. Lastly, if needed, I have the sling strap. I'll take the O-ring, place it on the back of the brace, right where it was when you took it out of the package. Like any other sling, I'm gonna go around his shoulder and neck underneath, and this will just adhere to wherever is comfortable and needed to give him the support of a sling when needed. Additional features to customize this brace include the dual aluminum rods, which create the rigidity and brawniness, can be bent and adjusted to obtain whatever angle you find necessary for your patient. Additionally, the humeral cuff height can be adjusted so that it fits the patient appropriately and isn't too far into the armpit or too low on the humerus. You simply detach the rod pockets like this, and then you're going to pull the cuff up to lengthen it or push it down to shorten it. Once you have both of these loosened, then reapply the rod cuffs in place and you're all set for sizing. That completes application of the Castaway Elbow Brace.